Hey folks and welcome back to Ahad's Automotive where today we have with us this the Fiat 595 Abarth Competition. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now before I start off this video I want to thank the people who made this possible and that is Boom Cars. Boom Cars is Chennai's latest premium luxury pre-owned car service. Now they've got an excellent collection of cars as you can see from this video so if you guys plan on checking out some pre-owned luxury cars feel free to contact boom cars using the contact info shown on the screen right now and if you want to see an extended version of their collection feel free to check out my instagram where i have a video of that talking about the exterior of the 595 walking up towards the car and taking a look at the headlamps which are circular in shape you can see the single xenon bulb inside right below which you have your parking lamp now when lit up this is how they look and you can see the indicator in action as well now right below both of these you have your side vent as well as your lower air dam vent which is all functional and not just for show you can also see the front fog lamps over here also over here is a small opening right below the center badge now overall the look of the car it is very serious and very aggressive you have this tiny little bulge on the center part of the bonnet and the badge in the center is not that of a fiat but an abarth now coming over to the side of the 595, the 2300mm wheelbase and the 105mm ground clearance is apparent. Now taking a look at those sweet looking rims, they are 17 inch in size and are called the sport rims. I really like how they are designed and I especially love the red details given on them. Now one more thing over here that can be seen is the Abath decal that runs along the side of the car as well as the side skirt. Now the outside rear view mirror is finished in a different color to the exterior color as well as your door handles are finished in a dark grey color. I also like this neat little Abarth and 595 logo over here. It looks really neat and is not too loud on the car. Taking a look at things on the top you have your sunroof, your antenna as well as your spoiler which all help in giving the car the look it needs. Overall, the side of the 595 is much different from the normal 500. Now coming over to the rear of the 595, let's take a look at those tail lamps. Now these are similar in shape and design to the 500 and this is how it looks lit up. It's not the fancy LED type but it complements the look of the car really well. Now right below that you have your rear parking sensors as well as a vent on the rear bumper. And from here you can see the twin exhaust as well as your gloss black diffuser with a mesh design in the center. Now another neat little touch is this 500 logo over here. And on the right hand side you have your 595 and Compensazioni badge with your Abarth badge in the center. Now opening up the boot of the 595, as you can see. It is a generous amount of boot space for a car of this size. It is well spaced out and your ass seats do have the 60-40 split. On top you can see the rear parcel shelf tray with the Competizioni badge and that is its size in reference to my hand. Now to get into the 595 you have your normal flippy key. Pressing the Abarth logo brings out the key and pressing the unlock button. Walking towards the car. Opening up the door, as you can see the door is kind of huge but it opens up wide. The first thing that catches your eye is the design of the inside door handle which is very neatly done. And you notice that you only have your outside rear view control but not the window controls. The door pad is generously sized for a car of this size. Now taking a look at the interiors, as you can see over here. Now taking a look at those seats, the 595 being a hot hatch has thin body hugging seats but are very comfortable. Now neat little touch is the scorpion badge over here which when turned around adjusts the angle of the backrest. That's extremely neat. So you can see your door sill over here finished in carbon fiber and aluminium and also over here are your pedals with the Abarth logo on the brake pedal. 
Now once you're inside the cabin of the 595, it will be similar if you've ever been inside a Fiat 500. Now since there's no fancy push start button, turning the key brings the car into life, as you can see over here. Now the steering is the first thing we normally check out, but in this car the first thing we're going to check out is the boost cage with the central display. Now, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen in a car till now. Now behind the steering wheel you have your downshift paddle and on the other side you have your upshift paddle behind which you have your wiper stock on the right and on the left is your indicator stock. Now these buttons over here they are used to change the menu of the center display and the top two buttons are your headlamp levelers. Now talking about the center display on the left hand side is your RPM and temperature gauge in the center is your range, digital speed readout and instantaneous mileage. On the right hand side is your fuel gauge as well as an eco index. It is extremely intuitive to use and is easily readable. Now talking about the center console of the 595 you have a single audio system which frankly you don't need based on how good this car sounds. What you need is that sport button which changes the center display as you can see on your screen right now. Now right below that you have your manual air conditioning controls which should have been automatic but eh, I don't mind it that much. Right below that you have your window controls which is in a weird place but it gets used to very easily. And right below that is your gear selector. So the buttons are drive, neutral, reverse and automatic or manual mode selector. Right below which you have your cup holder your USB and AUX slot and your manual handbrake. On the passenger side of things you have a 500 badge which should have been a 595 badge and a slot to keep your things in. Overall the quality of the cabin is remarkably very good. Now taking a look at the things on the top you have your in cabin light over here which can be operated as shown and you have your controls for the sunroof. Now the blind for the sunroof can be operated manually and it has this elastic sort of feel where when you open it and leave it, it automatically reels back. Now to control the sunroof itself, you need to press the button. Pressing it once puts it into ventilation mode and pressing it once again opens it up completely. Now the amount of space that the sunroof opens at is generous amount for a good amount of ventilation. Now to close the sunroof just press this button over here and it goes back into ventilation mode. Now you have to press it again to close the sunroof. Now talking about back seats, well the 595 technically does have back seats and you can access them as shown. Now the best use of the back seat is for either little kids or shopping bags. But you can split them 60-40 to make better use of that boot space which is what I recommend you do. Now coming to the most important part of the video, what powers this hot hatch? Well it's a 1.4 litre 4 cylinder turbo petrol engine that puts out 160 bhp and 230 newton meters of torque paired to a 5 speed automatic. Now how does all of this sound? Well then take a listen. Here are the specification and safety features of the Fiat 595 Abarth Competizione. So feel free to pause the video and go through them. And here are the 5 things that I like and dislike about the 595 Abarth. Now do note that all of these are in respect to a pre-owned 595 which I have featured in this video. So what is my review of the 595 Abarth Competizione? 
Back in 2015, when Fiat launched the 595 Abarth Competizione, it was the range-topping Fiat 500 version there was. And it is one of the rarest in India too. Now coming to the driving experience, it is exactly what you expect from a hot hatch. But the thing with the 595 is that it goes above and beyond that. It is a pure driver's car. If it's practicality that you're seeking out of the 595, well then that's like expecting the Fast and Furious movie franchise to have a meaningful plot. That's not gonna happen. But if it is a fast hot hatch that you desire with the added exclusivity as a bonus, look no further than the 595 Abarth. So there you have it folks, that was my review of the Fiat 595 Abarth Competizione. Now that's a big name, isn't that? So thank you so much for watching this video, a huge thanks to Boomcast for providing me this car for the review and if you did like this video please do like the video and please do consider subscribing to my channel as it helps me out a lot. Now I'll see you guys in the next one. So take care, drive safe and always wear your seatbelt.